Hey, how's it going now? And welcome back to the channel, Skyrim and the Dragonborn DLC. Okay, we're still in Solstheim, finishing off a particular quests that can be uh, of use to us when we return to Skyrim and help improve our build. Uh, one of these things includes this quest, Unearth, which will give us a Cyclone Word, the Dragon Mask, Azadil's Mask, the Black Book, Filament and Filigree, and all six pieces of Azadil's armour, some of which have particularly interesting enchantments. Uh, I'll be doing a separate video on Azadil's armour and the Black Book, fil uh, Filament and Filigree. Now, the quest is started by reading Azadil's Descent. You must have Skyrim SC and the Dragonborn DLC, and it will cost you 11,000 gold altogether. You may be able to find a few septons of looted bodies or loot bodies and sell the items in order to recover some of the costs. The relics themselves are worth 9,430, so this is definitely uh, not worth it as a money-making exercise. But in my opinion, this is a great quest and well worth doing. Uh, a quick FYI, I'll be breaking this video down into several smaller parts, so if you get turned around and lost, you'll always be able to come back to that particular segment for help. Uh, you'll understand what I mean as we progress. Okay, loads to do, let's crack on. Okay, well the first things we have to do is travel to Colbjorn Barrow and speak to Rallis Sedaris. And what's the matter with you? Now there's a little bit of a glitch here, because I should be able to get him as a follower uh, just yet till the end of the quest. This was something but go through the dialogue. Particular expertise. When I first got to Colbjorn, you couldn't even see it. Buried in the ash, like most other things on this blasted island. Dug out a pile of stuff taller than me just to find the barrel. Who knows how much to reach the door. Excavating isn't exactly my specialty. Even if it was, the ash storms fill it in faster than you can dig. Why not hire some of the miners out of Raven Rock? You think I've got that kind of money? No, I only get paid on delivery. Can't afford to go in the pocket for a thousand septums on this. Takes money to make money, all that rot. There's a lot of it at the other end. But I can't get there without a little kick to start it off. I've got some money. Are you looking for a partner? And that starts the quest. What? Are you... Are you serious? Well, I think I could make that work. We can sort out the details out of arrangement later. But for now, I'll manage the dig if you can manage the call. Do you have the gold? Of course, and give him one thousand gold. Mm. It's all here. Well then, looks like I have a good bit of work to start on. I'll head back to Raven Rock and round up some diggers. Now, as I said, you, it's going to cost you eleven thousand total. You may be able to uh, uh, pick up some stuff on the way to help fund it if you're a bit tight in cash. But I'd make sure you got the gold before you start. To be fair. Okay. This can be a slow business. So what we've got to do now is we have to wait three days. Um, now, I've uh, made a bit of a mistake here. I'm fast travelling to Raven Rock. What you're better off doing is actually um, waiting three days at the Barrow and then fast travel uh, somewhere else. I'm always going to Raven Rock, but uh, you can go where you like uh, because that sparks in the courier. You're going to be doing this several times, so uh, get used to it. OK, and if you waited at the, um, uh, the Baron and done it, and then fast travel to Raven Rock, the curry would have come. So instead, I've had to fast travel somewhere else, and that triggers him here. something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. Got this one pretty excited-looking dark elf around Raven Rock. He said it was important I got it to you as soon as I could. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Okay, so it gives us a note. Uh, we'll read the note. Where are you? There you go. Hope this message finds you quickly, Neve Farseer. We completed initial excavation, but run into some unexpected difficulties. Come as soon as you can. Your partner, Rallis. Okay, so travel back to Colbion.
and see what the problem is. Oh, it's you. What's going on? This isn't good. We only got a little ways in and something managed to wake up the drawer. Before I could blink, all the miners were dead and I was next in line. Don't think anyone else made it out alive. This is what I get for skimping on labor. What now? Well, unless you want to deal with the Draugr, this whole little venture of ours is over. Might be over either way. It looked like a dead end before the place started crawling. We could have missed something. I don't know. Okay, so this is our first little venture into the, uh, the barrow itself. Okay, in we go. This is a great barrow, by the way. Really good. Yeah, I'm using Ru Ruins Edge, which is completely OP, but I need to do that really for walkthroughs uh, to show you guys exactly what to do. And you've got a fair amount of, uh, actually quite high level Draugr as well, so be prepared for um, a proper fight. First one down. <laughs> and there you go. There's a few more left. And send the boys in. Give them a hand. Not that they really need it to be fair, these two are brilliant. Or Bill and Ben. Okay, now technically uh, you've done it, but we want um, the armour pieces. So pull the skull off and that actually opens up the next stage of the barrow. And what you've got here is Azadel's Boots of Water Walking. Now these bread, not only is the water walking enchantment pretty good, but if you're wearing any four relics of Azadol's armor, you get plus 10 to your enchanting. That's why I really wanted to come here. That plus 10 to your enchanting. Absolutely brilliant. Now, I'll probably go through some more detail um, when I do a full walkthrough on the armor. Um, but you, can, you must wear four pieces, not five or more. Um, it must be four pieces. Otherwise, the plus 10 enchanting doesn't work. So anyway. Pop out back out here. Have a bit of a chat. Luck. I've dealt with the drogger uh, and found a way past the dead end. For us yet. Now I have to go recruit some more miners. It won't be easy seeing as none of their friends came back from the first attempt. We'll have to sweeten the pot a bit this time. I think I'll need, say, to Do you ever feel you're getting stitched up? <laughs> Here, 2,000 gold. I never get tired of that sound. I'm sure you don't. He's It'll a creepy sounding little man, isn't he? Laborers, but swing back when you get a chance. See how we're doing. Okay, so what we're going to do is um, I'll get these two to uh, follow us again. Because obviously some of these followers don't like waiting around. I am the shadow at your back. Yes, you are, Genesee. Yes, you are. Okay, so now we want to wait the three days, and then we'll travel back to Raven Rock. And what I'll do, I'll start each part uh, with the courier coming to us at Raven Rock, so we know exactly where we are. I'm not going to bother any intros or anything like that. Okay, wait the three days, and fast travel back to Raven Rock. See you in the next video guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like, leave a comment and please do subscribe. If you'd like to see more videos like this, then push the bell next to the subscribe button after you subscribe, obviously. Later.